What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a slightly shorter video. Unfortunately, cold and flu season is upon us. I have been become a victim, so I'm really sick. My throat is a mess, so my voice is really raspy and not cute at all. <clears throat> I'm gonna hopefully try and cut out all of the coughing. I don't have COVID, I promise. Um, but that being said, I wanted to do a quick video because I've been pretty inactive as is my like pattern. I just leave for a couple months and then come back out of nowhere. Um, but I wanted to do a quick little video. Basically, in my previous video, I wanted to do a full unboxing of my first ever scale figure. It's the most expensive figure in my collection, and I love it with all my heart. She was worth every penny. Um, it's the Yoroichi Gem Series scale figure, and I did film that, and then it was basically a very self-serving and boring <laughs> video, <clears throat> and basically it was only... it was like 10 minutes of me just like looking at her and repeating the same things over and over because unboxing her isn't really a big thing. It's not like Nendroids. There's not a bunch of things to like sort through and like put her together. She already comes fully assembled. There's one aspect of the figure that I don't love, but I'll get to that because I will talk about her in a minute. But basically it was a really boring video, so I scrapped it and I decided to do kind of a quick video where I talk about all of the figures that don't really require a lot of assembly that I've just like pulled out and I'm using as like de decor around my house and stuff like that. I only have a couple out right now, um, but I wanted to talk about them because they never really got like a full video. I just kind of did it all off camera because there was, again, very little assembly required. Um, so I just wanted to talk about those, how I feel about them, because a lot of them are prize figures. And I think prize figures sometimes <laughs> they don't look the greatest um, most of the time prize figures are very very affordable and it really depends on certain brands and honestly sometimes it just comes down to like characters that have like a more I don't know like an easier kind of design to put into a like a more affordable figure so anyway, I just wanted to talk about the prize figures and the one scale figure that I have. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get into it. Okay, um, I just looked up the price, so we'll start with this one. This is the Amazing Heroes Volume 9. This is Denki Kaminari. I paid $21.89 for him. I did get him off Crunchyroll, so I have, I have Crunchyroll Premium. Um, because I'm <laughs> better than everybody. Um, no, uh, I have... Crunchyroll Premium, so it gets me like 5 to 10% off certain figures off the Crunchyroll store, so $20.89 for Denki. I was really excited about this because I do think this is actually a really, really, really nice price figure. It's super affordable, like I said, um, and I love his sculpt. So this is what he looks like. Let me show you his little face. Sorry, this is going to be kind of gnarly to, to show you the details with my stupid face in the back, but this is what he looks like. Comes on this little translucent stand, and I do really like his pose. I think it's really dynamic. I think it's fun. It shows, you know, kind of his quirk, um, and this is just a really nice figure. I did have to assemble more parts than, like, a lot of the other ones. Um, basically, his torso <laughs> comes off, ah, and then his head comes off, and so I just slid all those parts together, um, put him on the stand and I think he looks really nice like I really like this and I'm really excited to have more uh, from this line if I can find them um, sorry my voice again it's nasty um, but yeah I really I really like the way this figure looks and so he looks cute displayed just right there <coughs> Gross. okay I don't have the box for this one anymore because I just didn't end up keeping it. Um, but this is the Yuri, the U, <laughs> the Q Posket Prince. And I know this is kind of like a debatable kind of line of figures because I do feel like the design of these, it only really works for certain characters. I see it on like, I feel like on like women or female characters, it looks pretty good and pretty natural. Um, and some others, but in a lot of different characters, it looks a little bizarre because it's such a strange kind of design for them. But on Yuri, I thought it was really cute. So this is the Yuri one. 
Um, I've had him for a while. I really like the, um, the outfit choice that they chose for him, his like casual streetwear. And I just think, I don't think this is like a line of figures that I would like want to collect, but I think for certain characters it really does work. And he was really cheap. I got him for $10.99. So I don't think you can beat that. I think he looks really cute. If there's other characters that I come across, like I feel like some of the Sailor Moon ones, it's such a drastic change uh, from their like original design that it looks a little jarring but on other characters if I find that it kind of fits them I think I will kind of pick it up so this is one that I really like this design on and again very very cheap next is the Bondi um, Ruka Rent-A-Girlfriend price figure I mentioned this in my previous video have I watched Rent-A-Girlfriend yet no will I eventually probably <laughs> but either way I think she's really really cute and I do love the design of this so this is what she looks like. Uh, again, very little assembly. The only thing that came not attached was obviously her on the stand. And then her little purse is actually like a separate piece that you can kind of, <laughs> you can put it on whichever way you want. Um, it's, it's different feeling, like the handles are flexible and it kind of feels like, like Polly Pocket clothes. <laughs> it's very strange. I don't know. I just think her character design is so cute and I was like, I need to pick this up. So I did. I think it was like $24 ish and I think she's really well sculpted. And I don't know, like everything about her character design is super cute. I don't know shit about her like as a character. Like I said, I haven't watched the show yet, um, but I'm already like in love with her. So that's that one. Next is the My Sakurajima Corful figure. When I saw this, initially it was for pre-order, and I went back and forth about wanting to pick it up. I was like, it's cute, but do I need it? And by the time I realized that I wanted it, um, the pre-order had shut down, and I was like, oh shit. So I turned on the little notification for when it came back uh, like in stock, and that's when I picked it up. This is the most expensive out of all the price figures. It was like $27, which is still fairly cheap. And I do think her, like she's, she's perfect. She's perfect, okay? She looks really, really good. It's a cute little like bunny, you know, obviously, um, like bunny figure for very, very cheap. Cause a lot of like scale figure bunny figures go for fucking so much money. And I, I'm not even gonna touch that. Um, but, this is what she looks like. She's a tall, she's a tall gal. Like Yoroichi is like sitting on like a pile of like, I don't know, fucking rocks or whatever. And she's taller than her. Like she's, she's a large lad. Um, her ears are velvety, which is a nice touch. And I just think she looks so good. She looks so good. Okay, let me give you a close up. This is what she looks like. A little hair, a little clip. I just love it. I was like, at, like after I saw that the pre-order had shut down, I was kind of like devastated for a little bit because I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get it because it's such a cute figure that I was scared it was gonna sell out, but I'm pretty sure you could probably still get it. Like price figures don't tend to like sell out. They just kind of keep pumping them out until people are sick of them. Um, but I just think this one is so cute. I'm very, very happy with it. Love the little velvety texture. Love her bod. It looks sick. I'm jelly. This is un unrealistic expectations for women, uh, myself included, because I look at her and I'm like, damn, how'd you do that? But I just, she was drawn that way, so. I'm really, obsessed with this one this uh, I hesitate to say this is my favorite one out of all my like prize figures but it might be I really like her I think she looks amazing and she's one of the biggest ones so love it okay and then the box for the big one this Yoroichi gem series. This is my scale figure. This is the only scale figure I have if you're not counting my one Figma. Is she worth every penny? Yes, absolutely. Do I love her? Yes. Would I give my life for her? Yeah, probably. There is one element of this that I don't like that I talked about in the video that I threw in the trash. And that is, if you look here, because it's going to be kind of hard to show you on the actual figure. If you look on the back, um, all of these have like the cat, her cat version, Ugh. 
for cat version like standing like basically on top of her and you can position the cat to do that the issue is that the cat does not have it's not attached to the figure in itself so you can remove it if you don't want the cat to be part of the figure but my issue is that I do want it to be part of the figure sorry someone's coming home but in like if you want the cat to be there the entire time it's you kind of have to put it on a surface where you're not going to touch it ever ever because it falls off there's no way to like attach it there's no prongs there's no like i wish there was like magnets in the paws or something that could stick it better but basically you have to just put her somewhere and hope the cat doesn't fall off because if she does you know who knows where she'll go so basically this is the cat she kind of just balances on her on her leg and that's that's what it is but if you're if you don't care about the cat the figure itself is beautiful it's wonderful it was worth every penny i love it it's definitely my favorite figure in my collection this is what she looks like up close okay she's perfect right easily my favorite figure in my entire collection but again this you have to very precariously perch like that and then hope it stays okay sorry my camera died so if i'm suddenly shifted that's why basically what i was saying is the cat is such a integral part of her character and even down here on the stand where it shows her name the cat is like perched up against it there too so it doesn't make any sense for the cat to be like a removable part of the figure if you don't want it i guess but i do want it it's such a it's such a staple element of who she is so <clears throat> that's my only real gripe with this figure is that i wish either the cat was a fixed part of it where it's like it's just sculpted into the whole thing and it wasn't removable or if it is going to be a removable element there's a way for it to like adhere or like magnetize to this honestly this is like such such a good figure and if you can get your hands on it and you love yoroichi to the same degree that i do i would definitely recommend it i know that i have other um bleach characters in the like gem series and i've also seen a bunch of different like naruto characters in the gem series Unfortunately, I wasn't really big into collecting figures when like a lot of the Naruto ones came out So I never got my hands on them and then resale value is like two and a half times what they were initially So that's probably not gonna happen. But moving forward I'm definitely gonna have my eyes on like the gem series in general. I think it's really good. I love I, I love what they do <laughs> um, So that's about it. That's that's what it is right now love this my favorite figure in my collection as of right now and she's just pretty and literally i just like come and like stand right here and look at her for like five minutes a day i think she's she's the best um so that's it that was the video sorry it's kind of like at the end just kind of like downward spiraled because i had like a coughing fit someone walked in but i hope you enjoyed i enjoyed i enjoyed and I'm, I'm not enjoying being sick but that's a whole different thing um i'm really into prize figures honestly like at first when i was getting into collecting i saw them and i knew that they existed but i wasn't like super drawn to them but the more and more prize figures that i buy she's just gonna sit here for a minute um the more and more prize figures that i buy i realize certain companies do it really really well and like even for a $20 figure it still looks incredible all in all if you're looking for like really affordable figures and even like nendroids can be a little expensive i would look for you know if you're a fan of my hero academia the amazing fear uh, amazing heroes figures are really nice at least the ones i have i also i know that i pre-ordered the todoroki one so that's gonna be here at some point overall i would just say you know even if you're balling on a budget a lot of price figures you know they can do what you're what you're looking for probably um so anyway i'm running out of time i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you did sorry i'm sick it is what it is uh thanks for sticking around let me know what you want to see and i will see you in my next video thanks bye